Trish and I are in Albany, New York today to go to the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame that may have a piece from the queen of wrestling herself, Mae Young. That crown and robe represent the longevity of the career. For her to hold on to that for 40 years and then wear it again means that this woman had a career and this is representative of that career. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Hi. Whoa. Seth Hi, Hello. I'm Seth Turner. Seth freaking Turner. <laughs> Seth freaking oh Turner. Let's check this out. Let me show you a few things. Today I got absolutely surprised as I walked out of my office to find Lita and Trish Stratus standing in our museum. Two Hall of Fame wrestlers here to talk to us. This is like fantastic. This, I can tell upon just walking in here, you have so much good stuff. We're in the MVP arena now, which used to be called the Knickerbocker Arena when it opened in 1990. <laughs> There are quite a few significant events relating to professional wrestling that have taken place here. This is the building where the famous beer bath incident took place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin drove a beer truck into the middle of the arena. And soaked Vince McMahon and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Edge cashed in the first ever money in the bank oh, in I remember this that arena. <laughs> well, I was sitting actually outside the arena when he told me that he was going to cash in that night. Edge is cashing in big time with John Cena in that his weekend. Oh, oh. He got it. I mean, who would have ever thought that Edge would be this smart? Speaking of the Attitude Era, if there was anybody else with more attitude spanning decade upon decade, it's Mae Young. She was Queen May. She was the great Mae Young. Mae Young was out there for decades. A woman in a male-dominated world. She was not someone to mess with, a total trailblazer, and was somebody that put women's wrestling on the map. Now, the fact is, is that next month, Mae Young is only going to be 77. You know, to know that she was down there and just like throwing down the ring and uh, and doing a physical job like that, it's incredible. Oh, oh, down. Do you know that she's the first lady to use a drop kick in a professional wrestling match? I yeah, do I now. She was a legitimate pro wrestler who could at any minute yeah. use submission maneuvers. She could handle herself. Have I mentioned I love the WWE? Let me show you a few things. Yeah, please. Um, so, so we have Mae Young's original jacket. Here, this her, is it? Then that is her crown. Whoa. First, we identified the crown. We were able to, with the help of some historians, locate the Wrestling Review magazine of May 1969. Undeniably oh, puts man. that jacket yeah. on wow. May with the crown, bringing Yay. all of this together. It's incredible. Could I put on May's crown for just a sec? I think you, it would look really you're gonna good. You're going to go with you. the jacket to match it? I mean, <laughs> since we're here, it's here, you're here. I think, yeah, yeah, why not? It's your color, too. As we find these pieces of iconic memorabilia, there is something to touching them and putting your hands on them. Yes. OK. This is actually incredible. Queen Lita. Queen Lita. It feels special. Yeah. Mae Young is no longer here physically, but the closest you could come is when I put that crown on my head. She was there. Mae Young was out there for decades. A woman in a male-dominated world, something that we always need to acknowledge and look back on and appreciate, preserve, really, and just realize, like, that's really where it all started. As you guys are exposing an audience that may not know the history, we want to connect the WWE fans to this memorabilia. I don't know if you'd be open to parting with this stuff. I could offer you $1,000. Yeah, that's that's um, not in the ballpark. I'm open to a conversation. I certainly want us to work out a deal. I mean, we would hope that we could somehow have a collaborative relationship with the WWE. 
putting items on loan to you and you could put them on loan to us. Right. Um, anything that recognizes the first money in the bank uh, being cashed in. Again, that took place here. Ed is cashing in big time. I think now that we have a little bit of an idea of how you see this place uh, more living up to its potential, I have a phone call to make, and we'll all cross our fingers and hope that we can work something out that works for you guys, that works for us, and we'll make a bunch of fans happy. When I put the crown on, I was not gonna take it off without walking out of the museum with it. And so I was even more motivated to call Ben Brown and make this deal happen. Bling, bling, ring, ring. Oh, just a couple Hall of Famers. Hi, Hello. look who I found. Hi. Look who and what we found. To chat. <laughs> I am not taking this off, uh, but in order for us to do that, he would like us having this on loan saying like we could just kind of keep Swapping. a revolving door. There's already been a bunch of historic moments that have happened here in Albany in this building that he would love to represent as a direct tie-in to like these things happened here. Like Ric Flair won his first WWE title here. And then I had a very special night here when Edge cashed in for Money in the Bank. So the briefcase. New Year's revolution, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think that's a great, uh, that's a great deal. I mean, if he feels comfortable with, with trading back and forth, I'm okay. comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but do you have anything specifically I can kind of, like? So, so yeah, you we can just do the, the, the money in the bank, just like a black briefcase. Yeah, totally. Uh, so yeah, that's here. I have that. Oh, OK. Oh. OK, we're going to go do a little negotiating. All right, Ben. Cool. Thank you. I will call you back and tell you the good news. Bye. Thanks, ben. Bye. It would be absolutely huge to bring back the May Young crown and cape to WWE. Being able to connect the fans with May on that level of her as a wrestler is massive. Well, hello, ladies. Hi. Mm. So, so we have some news. We have some news. I'm intrigued. You, are, you should be. You should be. So. Ben has the original Money in the Bank Halliburton that was cashed in here in this building. Whoa. Yes, that's what so, we got. <laughs> it has dents on it that I am personally responsible for. <laughs> and watch Lita! Wait, hey! That's, that's Money in the Bank! In return, we would take the jacket and the crown. I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I, I will say that you've got a deal. Amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, great. Love it. Mae Young was the original queen of wrestling. So to have her crown and bring that back for the fans to see, it's an incredible haul. So let me first take this down because uh, <laughs> uh, we just Come put on, it back mama, up. Mama. The memories we made for everyone. I remember this like yesterday. How many asses I kicked with these boots. Roddy Piper's leather jacket. We need this. 